Here's a report from an outlet called Atlanta News First uh, in Georgia, obviously, about a restaurant that has created controversy because of a fee that they have passed down for bad parenting. Let's uh, watch a little bit of this. A North Georgia restaurant going viral on social media for having what's called a parent surcharge on their menu. And this is pretty interesting. The charge, according to the restaurant, is for adults who can't parent their children. Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose spoke to the restaurant today on Aska Road in Blue Ridge after a bad online review sparked a national conversation. I've never left a review in my life of a business. When I left there, we were leaving reviews. Brian Garciolo is still in disbelief after what he calls a nightmare experience at Tacoa Riverside Restaurant in Blue Ridge. The restaurant now gaining national attention for one-star reviews left by Garciolo's friends online who say the restaurant wanted them to pay extra for bad parenting. He basically said he has raised his children, he's not going to raise ours. Carciolo, a restaurant owner who lives in Central Florida, says five families, including his own, visited the restaurant on vacation with 11 children, all under the age of eight. After finishing their meal, Carciolo says someone from the restaurant made a surprise visit to their table, saying the group should pay a parent surcharge. The fee is listed on the restaurant's menu next to three dollar signs and the words unable to parent. Carciolo says he thought it was a joke. The owner tells me he's had this parent surcharge on the menu since the pandemic, but he's never had to enforce it on any of his customers. He wants to emphasize that the charge is not for kids, but for adults who don't know how to parent. The restaurant says they never charge Carciolo and the others the fee, but they told us the group had to be, quote, really bad for them to bring it up at all. A representative for the restaurant went on to say there's nothing wrong with kids and families coming to the restaurant, but kids running wild through the dining room is. So you get the basic idea. Uh, I'll admit that's a good line. I raised my own kids. I'm not going to raise yours. Let, let's try to sort through this. Uh, we have the restaurant saying that kids are running wild. We have the parents saying the restaurant owners are rude and nasty and that their kids are not running wild, but they're being discriminated against, you know, because they just because they have a large family. So we'll try to figure this out. The first point is that one of these angry reviews from a parent says that the owner told them that it is a fancy restaurant and you can't have kids acting up in a fancy restaurant. But it's actually an important point that like we saw the outside of this place, that ain't fancy, okay? Like when you have an ATM sign outside of your restaurant, that that's a telltale sign that it is not a fancy place. When there's a sign that says ice cream and t-shirts, which there is outside that place, and candy. They have a sign saying candy outside of the place. That is, uh, that's a very good indication that it's not a fancy place. In fact, as a parent, if I am in an unfamiliar area looking for somewhere to eat with my kids, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for to tell me that it is a family-friendly, non-fancy place. If I'm driving by and I see that place and my kids are hungry and I'm just visiting and I don't know what's around... And I see that place, I'm like, oh yeah, this is we're good all day. This is this is where we need to be. I mean, this is obviously a place where you could bring your family. Um, this is not a fancy place. You could just tell from the outside, and and um, so you just can't have a place like that and then expect that people won't bring their kids. It's like it's like opening up a mini golf course and then getting annoyed when a bunch of kids show up. It's like, what did you expect? The holidays are coming up fast. While you're out shopping for your kids, family, and friends, don't forget to shop for your pets, too. Give your dog the gift of a healthier and happier life with Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. Before I started feeding my dog Rough Greens, I had no idea that dog food is dead food. It contains very little nutritional value. Think about it. Nutrition isn't brown, it's green. Let Rough Greens bring your dog's food back to life. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs. You don't have to go out and buy new dog food. Just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every day. Dog owners everywhere are raving about Rough Greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. We are what we eat, and that goes for dogs too. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black is so confident Rough Greens will improve your dog's health. He's offering my listeners a free Jumpstart trial bag so your dog can try out. That's a free Jumpstart trial bag delivered straight to your door in just a few business days. Go to roughgreens.com slash Matt or call 844 844- 
RUFF700. That's R-U-F-F-Greens.com slash Matt, or call 844-RUFF700 today. And this is a point for customers too, by the way, because there are certain kinds of diners who get very annoyed sharing a restaurant with children. And that, and fine, if, you know, if that's how you feel, fine. But the point is you can certainly avoid kids at a restaurant. You just need to go to a place where the entrees are $25 or more on average per plate. Okay, probably even $20 or more per plate is enough. Um, no kids menu, you know, $20, $30 entrees. Guarantee you're going to see very few kids in a place like that because that's just you're not going to bring your family. I'm not going to bring my fa- my kids to. I'm not spending two hundred dollars on uh, on a family dinner. So if you want to avoid kids, pay up. Go to a more expensive place. Go to an actual nice restaurant, and then you can. Uh, it'll be it'd be it'll be kid free pretty much at any time of day. But you can't go to an affordable place and then get mad when families are there because those places are for us mainly. Well, where else do you expect us to go? We got to, so are we not supposed to go to any restaurants? Now, that said, if these families were actually being obnoxious, if the kids were running wild, then sure, I support the owners putting their foot, foot down. Um, letting your kids run around a restaurant is crazy. Most parents don't do that. I've, ve- I've very rarely seen anything like that at a restaurant. I've been in many restaurants where, where there are kids, and I've very rarely seen p- kids literally running around the restaurant like it's a jungle gym. Like every once in a while, but it's pretty uh, rare occurrence. And if that happens, then, uh, then, then yeah, I think for the owner to say something is, is perfectly fine. But here's my question. Why don't you have uh, a surcharge for obnoxious people? Okay, why not have a, ro- a, a, a rule that if your table is disruptive, then you will be charged more. A disruption fee. I'd be, I, not only would I be fine with that, I would love to eat at a place that has a rule like that. I, I'm, I would support I'd go to that place every week, okay? I'd give that place money even if I'm not eating there, okay? Just a, a donation. Um, and I've been in plenty of restaurants and other public situations where adults are being disruptive and obnoxious. That happens too all the time. So my question is, why are you singling out parents? Why not just, if you have an issue with people being disruptive, just it's a disruptive table, we charge you a fee. It doesn't matter why you're being disruptive. It doesn't matter if it's a kid, an adult, whatever. So the fact that they're singling out parents, that tells me that this guy really does just have a problem with kids. He wants to have his cheap restaurant with the ATM machine and ice cream and T-shirts and candy, but he doesn't really want families. Uh, even though without families, his place would go bankrupt. So, ultimately, he is the it's turned into an MI the I guess. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.